what is happening guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 draft champions video on to game two of the series we got the victory in game one at blowout fashion forced our opponent to rage quit and we're starting things off pretty strong here in this one Nice little wide receiver out there for a first down. Now it's second and 10, and we're going to try and hit our tight end. He has got room. Look at this. It's Shannon Sharp, the legend. Damn it. And we missed the throw. I guess that's what you get for not drafting a quarterback, right? But right here, Shannon Sharp gets it, and that is a tight, tight window for that to be thrown in. But he does make the play. Now, again, first and 10, but my opponent plays this one pretty well on the screen pass. I thought we might have almost fumbled there. Thankfully, we didn't. And we're going back to that corner route again. This guy just is not covering it. Shannon Sharp left wide open once again, and he picks up a huge first down. Now we're down to about the three or so yard line. But take a look at this. Oh, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Terrible, terrible read by me there. I can't believe that I threw that pass. Like, in hindsight, I can totally see that the guy was there. I was just fully expecting that route to be completely wide open. It was the mesh play. Usually, the wide receiver that's coming from that side gets wide open on that route if you have enough time. And unfortunately, it didn't happen there. He got the user pick. So my opponent's now on offense, and he is starting to dot us up down the field, man. Like, we're just not making the right plays on defense, not getting much pressure. This time I get caught on a defensive tackle, trying to drop him into coverage here, and I just make an absolutely horrible user play here. Second just terrible user play by me in this one. I, I mean, I have to, I just have to admit it. Like, when you make a terrible user play, it's hard to blame the game, you know? I could have definitely stayed up there and, and tried to stop the run. He does have Cam Newton, uh, but unfortunately, he is just dotting us the hell up, and then he ran with Newton up the middle. That play, we got pretty lucky because we did knock that one away when he should have potentially caught it. I don't know who was catching that, though. Maybe he didn't have such great catch in traffic or spec catcher. I don't know, but uh, thankfully, we kind of got bailed out there. But my opponent did pick up a first down. Here, we do stop the screen pass. Neither of us really get in our screen pass game, working very well early in this one. But my opponent's running game, eh, not really too worrisome. I mean, that was just a simple inside handoff. Not really too big of a play for him. And we're trying to bait him in to make him throw that pass over the middle, and he does. It wasn't a user pick, but I set that guy there because I was fully expecting that route to be there. I actually went in and changed that route, uh, or the, uh, the coverage on that one for that linebacker, Luke Keekley to be right where he was. So that was a great play. Uh, we do get the, the ball back now, and look at this. Kendall Hunter. Beautiful run off the outside. I mean, that was just a simple quick toss, guys. If you don't set up your defense to stop the quick toss out of the strong close, it is extremely difficult to stop. And my opponent, see, he's trying to do it on offense here, but we're setting up our defense pretty well to try and stop it. We're setting guys on the outside. We're blitzing off that edge, and uh, we're, we're definitely keeping in mind that the quick toss could be coming out of that formation whenever he runs it. So my opponent now second and 10 going deep and we knock it away right into the hands of our defender and we are going to get the interception. Awesome. So now we have the ball and the, the lead in this game looking again to catch him off guard here. We throw it to the fullback here in the flats and he is going to pick up a nice game there. He went in, in route and tried to stop that tight end corner route. So that's kind of what I was hoping for. I wanted to see him go up and actually user that route because if he did that, that's probably going to leave the flat with the fullback wide open unless he's running man coverage like he did here. And when he runs man coverage, that again becomes wide open. Usually the uh, corner route is just so difficult to stop. And we also, when he runs man coverage, have that type of an out route as well so my opponent then decides to actually commit on the run there after we ran it a few effective times and we do get the touchdown beautiful pass there uh didn't overthrow it for the first time and this time guys now we're back on defense we finally get some pressure force a fumble he got kind of lucky for us to not recover that one uh and then again here another big sack we're just coming off that right end just a, a sick pass rush guys third and 20 now no pass rush this time he gets knocked down and look at this in double coverage you got to be kidding me. The aggressive catch once again, just so dominant in this game. This time, though, thankfully, he did not come up with an incomplete pass there. But he is going for those deep passes, guys. And this time, he does complete one over the middle, right over the top of my user. I just about went underneath that one and picked it off, but I wasn't quite there in time. But that's okay, because a couple of plays later, we get bailed out by the computer, man. I mean, obviously, we ran coverage to actually cover that route, but uh, it's very rare that your computer is going to come up and make that type of a play on the ball. So we do get the W in this one, 14 to nothing. So that brings us to 2-0 and in this draft champion series guys we're two games closer to finishing this draft champions off without uh losing another game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did do me a favor click the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you guys again soon hey guys if you're enjoying my videos do me a favor click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now 
Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.